Welcome back to Mike Trump Analysis, where we dissect the beats, bars, and the untold stories behind hip-hop's most influential tracks. Today we're diving into a cornerstone of hip-hop history, Eric B. is President by Eric B. and Rakim. Alright, picture this. It's 1986, New York City, where two artists meshed to craft a sound that didn't just echo across the streets, but sent ripples through time, shaping the very essence of hip-hop. Rakim, born William Michael Griffin Jr., he was a poet since he was knee-high, starting with whimsical lines about Mickey Mouse. But Destiny had bigger plans, steering him from cartoons to the core of hip-hop. Adopting the name Rakim, after embracing an offshoot of the Nation of Islam called The Nation of Gods and Earths. Rakim's style? Nothing short of a lyrical labyrinth. Weaving words with a wisdom and a depth that turned the genre on its head. And then there's Eric B, the maestro behind the scenes, blending samples into a canvas just waiting for Rakim's verbal art. They weren't just a duo, they were hip-hop's harmony and melody entwined. Their debut, Paid in Full, dropped in 1987, and let me tell you, it wasn't just an album. It was a manifesto, a hip-hop odyssey, blending Eric B's beat wizardry with Rakim's lyrical prowess. This wasn't just music, it was a movement etched in vinyl. First up, let's talk about the sampling. This track didn't just borrow beats, it reinvented them. Being one of the first to sample James Brown's Funky President was akin to tapping into the heart of funk and melding it with the unrefined energy of the streets. It wasn't just merely a musical piece. It was like a cultural handshake linking different eras in a harmonious blend. I can still remember the first time I heard it. And Rakim. The guy didn't just rap, he weaved words like a poet laureate. His flow didn't just challenge the norms, it completely rewrote them. Picture this. At the time, it was a world of straightforward rhymes. Rakim introduced the complexity of a symphony, if you will, or the depth of a classic novel. He wasn't just rapping, he was painting with his words, laying down the canvas for every MC who came after. The ripple effect? Huge, absolutely huge. Eric B. as president resonated beyond the dance floors, echoing in the streets, becoming more than just a song. It was an anthem of raw, unfiltered authenticity. It stood as a lighthouse of credibility in hip-hop, a testament to the power of staying rooted yet daring to explore new horizons. When Rakim dropped that line, it was more than just a few words on a track. It was like he was kicking down the door to the hip-hop world, declaring, here I am. You know the way door and before dance together in that line? But that's not just Rakim showing off his rhyming chops. It's like he's planting a flag saying, I'm here and I'm changing the game. It's as if he's opening a door not just for himself, but a whole new wave of MCs. They heard that and they thought, man, we can get deeper with our words, more complex with our rhymes. And let's not forget how to gave a shout out to this in old school. By weaving Rakim's line into his song, Toop wasn't just nodding to the past. He was building a bridge, tying together the old and the new. It's like he was saying, we're here because of these guys. That moment when Rakim's line echoes in Tupac's tribute, it's not just a tip of the hat, it's a powerful reminder of how these lines, these words, shape generations. It's like Rakim's line is a lighthouse guiding ships through the foggy waters of hip-hop. A standard that says, this is what greatness sounds like. It's funny, isn't it? How a few words can ripple through time, leaving a mark that's not just heard, but it's felt? Well, that's the magic of hip-hop. A never-ending conversation between the past, the present, and the future. I never let the mic magnetize me no more, but it's... When Rakim talks about not letting the mic magnetize him anymore, it's like he's sharing a personal journey. You know, think back to when you first felt the pull of something that you loved. Wasn't it almost magical? That's what the mic is to hip-hop artists, a symbol of fame, power, and recognition. But here's the catch. The allure can be a double-edged sword. Remember the first time you got drawn into something that almost changed who you were? Well, that's what Rakim's getting at here. He's seen the seductive nature of fame and how it can pull artists from their true selves, their core artistic intentions. It's a story as old as time, isn't it? The, the temptation to conform, to lose ourselves in the glare of the spotlight. But here's the twist in Rakim's tale. He's like the hero who came through the other side. He's declaring loud and clear, I'm staying true to myself. Now isn't that a powerful statement? 
In an industry where authenticity is often traded for fame, Rakim stands as a beacon, reminding us all to hold on to our essence. It's not just about resisting external forces, it's about embracing your true voice, your vision. And this isn't just Rakim's story. This is the story of every artist striving to stay genuine in a world that consistently tries to reshape them. Every time I listen to these lines, I'm reminded of the courage it takes to be truly oneself. It's more than hip hop. This is a life lesson. In the words of Rakim, rapping takes on a life of its own, engaging with him in a dynamic, almost contentious dance. Think about it. When he talks about biting, it's like he's describing those moments when inspiration grabs hold of you, uninvited yet impossible to shake off. It's as if the art itself is challenging him, beckoning him into a creative tussle. Now fighting, that's a different beat. It's like Rakim and his craft are in this intense tango, a push and a pull of ideas and expressions. It's not just laying down tracks, it's a battle, an internal clash where every lyric and rhyme wrestles with the soul of the artist. You know, I felt that too, you know, like, the struggle where every word you write feels like a piece of your essence being etched onto the canvas of reality. But then there's inviting. This is where the magic happens. It's, it's the point where the struggle transforms into a warm embrace, where the art form itself becomes a working space. Despite the battles and the skirmishes with inspiration, there's this undeniable charm and allure to the act of creating rhymes. It's like being invited to a secret rendezvous with your muse, where the world fades away and it's just you and the pure joy of creation. This line from Rakim, it, it's a vivid portrait of the artist's journey. A symphony of resistance, conflict, and enchanting allure. It shows us how an artist like Rakim doesn't just do his art, he lives it, he breathes it, wrestles with it, and ultimately falls in love with every beat of it. It's a dance of creativity, with every step revealing yet another layer of his profound connection with his artistry. Can't hold it back, I'm looking for the line. Take this line, it's more than just words, it's a window into the soul of an artist. Rakim isn't just talking about lyrics, he's talking about an inner force, a creative fire that's too intense to be contained. Imagine this, an artist, pen in hand, ideas swirling like a tempest, each one begging to be set free. That's what Rakim is capturing here. I'm looking for that line. It's not just any line Rakim's after. He's on a quest for the perfect line. This isn't just about stringing words together. It's a meticulous, almost sacred search. Think about it. How often do we hunt for that one perfect way to say what's burning inside us? Rakim's journey through his verses is like a tightrope walk, balancing raw emotion with the precision of a craftsman. In essence, Rakim's line is a microcosm of the artistic process itself. It's not just about hip hop. It's about every creative soul's struggle and triumph. Every time I listen to his flow, it's like a masterclass in the art of expression, raw, real, and relentlessly beautiful. This is the magic of Rakim, and that's the magic of true artistry. This struck a chord with me the first time I heard it. When Rakim said, MC means move the crowd. It wasn't just a catchy line, it was a revelation, a deeper truth about the essence of being an MC, far beyond the usual master of ceremonies definition. You see, Rakim wasn't just talking about the technical skill or crafting clever lyrics. He was talking about connection, about the electric energy that flows between the MC and the audience. It's like a dance, a shared journey where every word, every beat becomes a heartbeat of the crowd. This idea transforms the MC from a mere performer into a powerful force, a maestro, orchestrating a communal experience. And think about it, when he says, make him clap, isn't that exactly what it's all about? It's not just clapping hands, it's about striking a chord in the hearts of people. About creating moments that resonate, that linger. And that's the true art of an MC, the ability to weave words and rhythms into an experience that transcends the stage. So when Rakim says MC means move the crowd, he's not just giving us a definition, he's giving us a philosophy, a lens to view the soul of hip hop. It places the audience, you, me, all of us, right at the center of this dynamic, pulsating universe of hip hop. You know, every time I reflect on these words, I'm reminded of the power of connection, the magic that happens when art and audience become one. 
It's not just about moving to the beat, it's about being moved, being part of something larger than ourselves. And that, my friends, is the essence of what it means to move the crowd. Thought I was a donut, you tried to glaze me. His line about being a donut getting glazed hits me. It's a, it's a clever wordplay. It's a window into his world, you know. In hip-hop, much like in life, there's always this dance of authenticity versus illusion. Glaze here isn't just about the sweet topping of a donut. It's deeper. It's about how people try to dress things up, make you buy into something that's not real. Rakim throws in a nod to Dunkin' Donuts, and suddenly it's not just lyrics. It's a slice of everyday life, you know? It's like he's saying, hey, I know their game, and I'm just I'm not just another donut waiting to be glazed. It's Rakim being Rakim, sharp, real, unglazed. Now isn't that something? A line that's both a reflection of his street smarts and a mirror into our own experiences. Every time I hear it, it's a reminder of the power of authenticity in a world that's consistently trying to glaze us. In wrapping up our journey through Eric B is president by Eric B and Rakim, we see it's it's more than a hip hop milestone, it's a cultural touchstone. Rakim's lyricism, a blend of wit and wisdom, and Eric B's compelling beats echo the resilience and creativity of the human spirit. This track is a vivid thread in the tapestry of musical evolution, a reminder of how art transcends time and inspires. It encourages us to find deeper truths in life's rhythms and rhymes, a testament to the enduring power of genuine artistry. Thanks for watching Mic Drop Analysis. Please like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the most influential hip-hop songs of all time. Till next time.